Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again, back with another fitness video. Hmm. If you're wondering why am I drinking Red Bull, this is like a pro tip. So Red Bull sugar-free can actually curb your appetite. Not that I'm trying to curb it, it's just that you know it keeps me awake. It has a shitload of caffeine in it. Anyways, that's not the point. Uh, uh, what we discuss, we're not discussing Red Bull today. We are discussing. 10 things that I would want to share with you and I'm going to you know quickly take you through these 10 things that can actually change your friggin life when it comes to fitness nobody told me these things some of you you may already know and some of them you would find what what the friggin hell we didn't know this shit right it's going to be a life-changing experience for you if you were to follow this trust me you really don't need any supplements you really don't need any jack shit if you were to follow these 10 things which I'm about to share with you so are you ready number one so I've actually got my notes written here for you right so number one something that I have realized over the years that you need to cook your own food you know uh, I kind of I, I was not a is there a word cooker? I was never a cooker. I was I never used to cook my food, uh, you know. And uh, often I realize that you know, uh, you know, people who cook for you, they show a lot of love for you, like your mother, your wife, your girlfriend, and they put a lot of ghee, tail, oil, namak, shamak into it, which is not good for your health. So if you really want to be fit and stay in good shape, you got to learn to cook, man. And basic cooking is always good, there. It, it it helps, right? For people who are not married, trust me, it's going to help you to please your wife. People who are already married, I'm sure you're already pleasing your wife uh, but you know with cooking you can even please your wife a little further right valentine day is coming probably you can think through this so number two you know my parents always told me and i'm sure your parents also would have told you the same thing beta don't waste your food and you know this friggin attitude got us fat most of the people fat right so my i follow this approach called <laughs> Better to waste than go to your freaking waste. Think about it, man. I would rather waste a few pieces here and there and probably give it to you know uh, to to the dog or anybody outside. But yet yeah, it's still better than me getting fatter and then probably developing diseases. Yeah. So think about it. You really don't need to eat everything on your plate. Be wise, or either you know don't put too much food on your plate, right? So remember that. What is it? Better to waste than go to your friggin' waste. Something I live by. Number three. You know, when people follow diet, it pisses me off that they actually feel that, you know, it's a torture. So it's not a friggin' torture, man. You got to break the rules when you do anything. You know, when you're going, when you have a friend's party or you have a birthday coming up or, or your cousin's wedding, eat, eat whatever you want to eat, man. It's so much fun breaking the rules at times, right? But don't break the rules all the time. So my point is splurge once in a while. It's not going to hurt you. These cheat meals will only help you reset your metabolism. So these are this number third. Number four, you know, I, I, I was a working professional and, you know, I have, we have been. I was a study. I was a student. We were all studying. I realized every time I ate something, uh, try to eat something healthy or protein, I had ten people commenting on it. Hey, what are you eating? Why you eat this? You should not eat that. You should not eat this. Is it healthy or not? So I realized that I should rather eat my food alone. You know, then you have nobody to answer to, and you know, I think it works. So try to eat your food alone. I know it's very contradictory to what I. What our parents or what people tell you that are a milbant ke khana chahi and stuff like that, don't waste your food. But guys, things have changed. And that's exactly what I'm sharing with you, man. You know, if you really want to be fit, you gotta do things differently. Remember, if you want an extraordinary body, you gotta do things which are extraordinary, which regular folks can't fucking do. So think about these things and before doing it. So try to eat alone, that's number four. Number five. You know, this is something that my wife recommended and it actually helped me. It is like, you know, buy smaller plates. You know, uh, we uh, earlier, you know, before getting married, I had these big plates of food, you know, being a jat, you know, you have to eat heavy and, you know, you got to be a heavy eater. But when she came and she started eating, you know, uh, she bought these small plates. So we're having these small plates help because, you know, A, you can't put too much food there. And when you don't put too much food, chances of you overeating are a lot lesser. So it really helped all of us actually in the family. So I would recommend you buy smaller plates for your house, man. They can do world of good to you. Number six. Right, number six. 
enjoy your food man when you if you if you cook your food you also need to enjoy your food yeah don't think of it as torture like the way i'm enjoying my red bull mm. if not if it should not give you an orgasm you know what orgasm is right so <laughs> whatever that is uh, that's my other that's my next video talking about orgasms i've been getting a lot of questions though around it though right so uh, if you're not feeling good about your food by eating it that means you're going something somewhere wrong got to learn to enjoy your food whatever it is if you're following a diet if you're following a pattern just learn to enjoy man why not this is saying there's a very crude saying in english that you know when rape is inevitable might as well enjoy it right so if it's bound if you really have signed up to diet why not just freaking you know enjoy that man why do you even crib or sulk about it so always enjoy your food because then it will really affect you then it'll actually do you good to your body if you just imagine if you're sulking and eating shit man it's not going to do anything enjoy number 7 again you know this is something that i learned you know this is the time when Bit years back, you know, I, I had these cravings for junk. You know, you know, you know, McDonald's was new back then. You know, Pizza Hut was new, and and plus it was very expensive, and I couldn't afford. So uh, going there was never an option for me because obviously you're tapped out of cash. So I, I asked my mother, you know, I feel the need to have some junk food. She's like, what junk food? I said, you know, French fries or burgers and stuff. She's like, okay, uh, I'm going to bring you stuff like potatoes. Why don't you cook for yourself? Uh, I said. cook which is like yeah cook junk food if you really want to have it so my point is if you really want to have junk food cook it yourself you know chances of you adding on more calories will be lot lesser because the kind of oil the kind of salt that these guys use they only add up calories but if you cook that same junk food at home trust me it will be lot more healthy of you if you if you one of those folks who got to have junk every now and then cook at home and plus with these air fryers coming in french fries is actually oil less you know you can do you know we can make french fries without any oil i mean there's a philips one that i recently got it's pretty amazing try it out air fryer number 8 which is you know if you go to cook if you don't want to cook let's say somebody else cooks for you but don't let that person either sweeten or salt that food of yours use because sweet and salt should be as per your own freaking taste you know it like if you're into gymming if you're into you know uh, fitness three things you got to always manipulate with your body carbs sweet and salt so don't let anyone else decide it for you because you know it better than anyone else so if somebody else is cooking for you tell that person hey don't put any sugar in it don't put any salt in it. i'll do that myself especially for my own plate especially for my own portion So, uh, because salt leads to water retention, we all know that. So uh, it will help you with that uh, uh, problem. And obviously, sweet again. Uh, you know, I mean, the world knows the the ill effects of sweets. So I don't want to talk about sweet and sugar. So always remember that. You know, whatever it is, sweeten or salt your own food. Don't let anyone else do it for you. Not even your mother, man. She'll show some really good love there. Uh, more salt or more sugar. Don't let her do that. You do it for yourself. Number nine. You know, this is uh, uh, one of my uncles told me. You know, he was an he was a, he was a vegan, and you know, he told me something. And I must quote this. He said to me, "If it didn't come from a, if it came from a plant, eat it. If it was made in the plant, avoid it." Man, it's so cool. You know, it's like if it comes from a plant, eat it. If it was made in the plant, avoid it. You get the point here, right? like you know you know if 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 it's if anything which is processed or made in in some factory or plant or the other we got to avoid that food that's called processed food uh, you know anything canned or anything anything to do with all that stuff avoid it i'm going to make an exception this is also a little processed i say hmm? but hey i'm breaking the rules remember rule number 3 once in a while so this is also very important last one this has changed my life man the last one i'm going to share with you which is Avoid that line which says on every food item low fat. Never buy that food item, man. That that shit load of fat, man. What they say is there's low fat, but they add a lot of calories there. They add fructose there. They add so many other things which you probably don't even know, man. They just avoid low fat food, like diet namkeen for that matter. Really, it's pathetic, man. It's an eyewash. So I hope 
you know you do these 10 things uh, uh, and, and I'm going to make a list of these 10 things you know for you to kind of have you know refer back on and it will trust me can change your life yeah, simple things and again easy to do which is I'm sure you know we all running out of time uh, following these 10 even if you follow 6 to 7 you're good you will get to where your fitness goal is it will really help you so any one of you have any questions around this feel free to reach out to me either on my Facebook YouTube or WhatsApp and I'll be happy to answer all your fitness queries so until we meet again see you